Fractions. Adding common denominators mixed. All right, we are going to add mixed fractions with common denominators. So we see 7 and 1 ninth plus 4 and 8 ninths. So we can first add the 7 and the 4 together. So 7 plus 4 equals 11. And now we need to add the 1 plus the 8. And remember we keep the 9 the same because it's the same denominator. So 1 plus 8 equals 9 and then we keep the 9 the same. So now we have 11 and 9 ninths. But if you remember, if it's the same denominator and the same denominator, that equals to 1. So we add 1 plus 11 equals 12. Now we see 7 and 3 eighths plus 1 and 6 eighths. So let's first add the 7 and the 1. So 7 plus 1 is 8. And now let's add the 3 and the 6 together. So 3 plus 6 equals 9. And we keep the 8 the same. Alright, we know that 8, eight eighths equals 1. But we have 1 eighths, so we have 1 left over. So we know that the answer is 9 because we add 8 plus 1 and then we had 1 left over. So the answer is 9 and 1 eighth. Alright, let's do another problem. We see here 6 and 1 ninth plus 1 and 7 ninths. So let's first add the 6 and the 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7. And now we just need to add the 1 and the 7. So 1 plus 7 equals 8. And we keep the 9 the same. So this equals 7 and 8 ninths. All right, let's just do one more for the fun of it. We see here 5 and 8 ninths plus 5 and 5 ninths. So again, we add the 5 and the 5 together. So 5 plus 5 equals 10. And now we add the 8 and the 5 together. So 8 plus 5 equals 13. And we keep the 9 the same because they're same, the same denominator. So now we have 10 and 13 ninths. But 13 is more than 9, so we have to fix this. So remember, 9 ninths equals 1. So we can add 1 to the 10 now. So 1 plus 10 equals 11. And now we need to subtract 9 from the 13. So we know that is 4, and we keep the 9 the same. So our answer is 11 and 4 ninths. Great work solving these problems, and I hope to see you again soon.